Maine's Total Weather and News. I'm Tracy Staple. And I'm Steve Minnick. Six lights are now hanging in a tree in Portland's Longfellow Park as a memorial to the victims of the Noise Street Fire. This Sunday marks one year since that fire happened. A memorial celebration will begin at 4.30 Sunday evening. A family and friends of Laudrina Kubeloso, allegedly killed by her boyfriend, gathered at a memorial Friday to honor and remember her. The memorial was at the location where Kubeloso died, at the corner of Howe and Burt Streets in Lewiston. Kubeloso was pregnant when she died. Her mother addressed the public for the first time about her death. Other remains found deep in the western Maine woods earlier this month have been positively identified as Geraldine Largay. The chief medical examiner says Largay's death was an accident and that she died due to a lack of food and water, as well as exposure to the elements. Information from Largay's cell phone indicates that she became lost while hiking the Appalachian Trail. And the Maine Department of Transportation is looking for a private contractor to take over the Casco Bay Bridge. The department is currently accepting bids for a company to operate and maintain the bridge, which sees more than 30,000 cars each day. The DOT says privatizing the bridge will save taxpayer money in the long run. Bidding is open until November 18th. And thanks for joining us for this News 8 web update. And make sure you check back at WMTW.com on our mobile app for the top stories of weather anytime. Have a great evening.